What's up, guys? In the void here with more World of Tanks daily subscriber replays for you. Uh, like I just said, hey, if you like these videos and uh, you want to see more, please subscribe because they come out every day at 4 a.m. Pacific time, which is 7 a.m. East Coast, and I think in Europe that's something like I don't know, 11 or noon or something like that. It just kind of depends on where you live. Anyway, today's video is sent to me by Long Range 1997. He's driving his IS-6 Tier 8 Soviet. Uh, gold heavy tank, and I really like this tank. And when it first came out, first on the test server, I hated this tank. It's because the pen's really low. It's got a 175 pen on a tier 8 heavy tank. I don't like that. Um, what I do like, though, is the armor layout. It's got a really sick armor layout if you look at it. Um, it's very much like an IS-4 uh, armor layout. And it's just really hard to pen this dude. Uh, he's got really great armor. Another thing is... This thing has special matchmaking, and it'll never see past tier 9. So, in that regard, the 175 is not too bad. Um, but you'll see uh, and why the 175 pen can really get you in trouble. Anyway, he has a really good game, though. We'll see. We'll watch here. This is on the Pearl River map. I see a lot of guys coming up here to brawl. I don't know what this T-44 is doing up here. This is really a heavy spot. Not like you're doing a lot of flanking up here. T-44 is all about flanking. It's got mobility. Pretty low pen gun definitely a flanking gun it's, just, it's it's strong suit is mobility it's not really brawling <laughs> at all so he's uh let's see if we can get a shot boom right on this black prince he's already had a shot into the t44 as well even though it does have only 175 pen it does have really nice damage so far only one shot from the uh black prince is, is, has done any damage here another nice shot into the black prince trolling these guys with his armor. IS-3, not really sure what he's doing. Let's see if we can get a shot on the A-15 Cupola. Yes, he can. 412 damage. Nice. So this is a really typical brawl scene right here. we got a bunch of friendlies and a bunch of enemies just kind of duking it out. Now, as I've said in other videos, right? Well, it's pretty evenly matched. Okay, this is 5 versus 5. Um, a lot of times you'll see like eight enemy and three friendlies and the enemies never rush If you can outnumber them that much you need to rush T44 kind of wishing he never came up here. I'm sure that's not right shoot. Let's see if we can yeah right there Ah, ricochet maybe you should have shot there Who, uh, what do I know but it would have been nice to hit that black prince in the side of the face and let's see if we can do this again boom yes we can right in the cupola it's not very far away. How far away are we here? 76 meters. Yeah, you can put, you can shoot that shell through a little, through a pinhole, and it bounces. AT-15, big cupola. Really weird armor layout. I'm, I'm glad they do that though. It shouldn't be an automatic explosion every time you get in the cupola. So it takes out the AT-15. Now, his friendlies are kind of getting worked over over here. It's really just himself and the T-29 now. He's getting pushed around by the T-34. And gives a nice big old hit into the T-34 side. Four, now this is where they should swarm. The T-29 is almost dead. People should be coming around shooting uh, long range in the butt right here. Like the IS-3 is about to. See the IS-3 on the minimap? There he is. No, that's a friendly. I'm sorry. IS-3 is getting shots on these guys' sides. There, the T-29 finally goes down. And the T-44 gets jacked, and now the Black Prince is thinking, damn, dude. It's because you guys are shooting the wrong dude. You guys are not swarming and things like that. And the Black Prince goes down. Long range, having a great game. 4,000 damage already. Only been hit, He's only been hit once for 154. Doing real great. Again, the IS-6 has great armor layout. He's going back to base here a little bit because he's saying so yeah that's because the 78 line really got steamrolled so we'll see what's gonna happen the is6 is up here that's interesting this is what I was talking about about the is6 you're gonna see in a second t29 mmm I wouldn't do that someone could breathe on you and kill you come on bro fall back yeah no kidding in this instance t29 should be support damage let long range take the shell from the IS-6 here, and there's where it's gonna you're gonna have a problem. But the other IS-6, 
holds his shot because he knows the T-29 is going to crawl out because the T-29 is too uh, dumb to hold his shot. So two IS-6s shooting each other, <laughs> nobody's getting any damage. Nobody's going to be getting any damage in this case. And the IS-3 goes down. Probably shot him right in the uh, pike. Comet is a no-brainer shot here. Boom! Because IS-6 is going to have a hard time getting to the front, so... It's might as well take out the Comet, the guy you can actually do damage on. He's saying, look, I need help here. I'm getting swarmed. It's a possibility, anyway. Also, I know a lot of people are saying they don't like the, the sound of the engines. I don't either, but I can't... I don't have the app I had before that could take off mods. I had deleted it for some reason, and I don't want to download uh, it again because it might have a new version. And it might screw everything up. So what I'm going to do is just... I'll wait till the next time I need to up... up uh, Update Watt, and then I'll just update my uh, my uh, my mods at that same time. So he's starting to get pincered a little bit with the T29, getting a shot into the side there. And now the IS6 and the, and the T29, and now we've got another guy on the mix. What kind of what tank is that? The Comet he's shooting at, but we also have another friendly up here, the Tiger One. So this is not looking that good for long range, even though their team is up three tanks. I don't know what the T-29 and Object 704 are doing. All the enemy tanks are here except one, so I'm not really sure what they're doing. What's the Comet doing? What are these guys doing? Look at my look at my cursor right here. Those two guys and this guy. What are they doing? They might as well be dead. So basically, it's even. Because they got three of the friendly tanks are not doing anything. So the T-29 gets taken out, or a T-29. No, he takes out the Object 416. That's what it was takes out the object 416 so this guy's pretty much dead he showed his side armor two, one too many times here and let long range take him out basically and well he let him get a shot on him and finally he gets the kill shot so now he only has to do deal with this t29 there's a, a pro and a t29 left tiger one again making the same mistake as the t29 look bro you're almost dead just chill you know and yeah, that was a pretty good fight. And here's where the T-29 is doing a great job moving around. Now, I wouldn't have moved around the way he did with, to get that cupola moving. You're going to see why in a second. This is a really great dogfight. They both have hold down positions behind dead tanks. This should easily be a T-29 fight. Yes, his cupola is easy to hit. But really, that's where you're going to get hit. And that's why you don't want to move your whole hull when you're trying to get people to not shoot in the cupola. you got to swing your turret around a little bit here and there. So it gets in a little closer. Now they're just hiding behind this one tank. T-29 is trying to get shots on him in the hold down position. Apparently he's not having any, any luck. And let's see what we can do with this. I would have shot him in the turret ring. Boom, right into the upper plate. Really not even the upper plate, like the top of the tank there. Another hit on that T-29. Again, T-29 not really using his hold down very well. He's getting shot in the hole quite a lot. Now he's not even moving his cupola. Okay, still not moving it. It's in the back, dude. All you have to do is swing your their turret left and right. Again, gets shot in the turret ring right there. Just not doing a good job protecting. And this is where this dogfight is so cool. Now he's got multiple people to shoot at. And boom. Oh, it didn't penetrate the armor. That's why you got to zoom in, bro. <laughs> gets trolled by not zooming in. That happens in almost every other video in my videos. And boom. Nice damage. Could have been a kill shot but no dice. It's becoming fairly close here. Well, not really. It's five tanks to two. And it bounced. You could have went for the lower plate, bro. Or that slightly downturned upper plate. So what does he do this time? Turret ring? Boom! Into the hatch. Finally gets the kill on the T-29. Nice little dogfight right there. That's why I was saying I liked this video. Um, but the T-29 should have really eaten the IS-6 for lunch. Because he could have... He's going to push by this tank. It takes a long time. He decides to go around. So, T-28 Pro getting surrounded. Doesn't seem like he was really helping his team at all. I think he was just sitting there the whole time. <laughs> and Long Range says, Well, I was going to try to get the kill. I was going to drive out there and expose my butt and get my uh, eighth kill for the extra metal 
But whatever, you still had a good game, bro. 6,000 damage in IS-6, probably tons of millions and zillions of credits. Showing you how the IS-6 has great armor. Nice dogfighting right there, which is really why I wanted to show this video. It's kind of, I thought was the entertainment value right there. T-29 making some big mistakes, and uh, Long Range really taking advantage of his mistakes. So anyway, stay tuned again tomorrow for more uh, subscriber replays. Also, um, go ahead and check out the playlist if you like these. There's tons, I have over 100 of these replays. Um, you can just click the first one of the replays. Uh, first replay in the playlist it'll play through all of them all the way back in time you can go back and see really old uh, replays from from older times in the game and stuff so anyway again let me know what you, what you think about this replay and if you like this and all that and stay tuned for tomorrow and stay frosty